Good morning. And welcome to the City of Newport News Employee Memorial Service. On behalf of the Employee Pride Task Force, I would like to thank you all for joining us today as we gather to remember those employees that we have lost in 2022. For over 30 years, EPTF has coordinated and organized this event during the Public Service Recognition Week as a way to honor and cherish the many years of dedicated service and the difference that former employees made to the City of Newport News. We would like to thank all of the family and friends of those that are here today and that we have lost and that are watching from afar. Our hearts are with you and we join you in remembrance. Good morning. I would like to share with you a poem of remembrance. The poem is We Thought of You with Love Today, and it is by an unknown author. We thought of you with love today, but that is nothing new. We thought about you yesterday and days before that, too. We think of you in silence. We often speak your name. Now all we have is memories and your picture in a frame. Your memory is our keepsake with which we'll never part. God has you in his keeping. We have you in our heart. Good morning, everyone. Today, we will continue to honor the memory and dedicated service of city employees who passed away in 2022 by stating each employee's name while a representative from the employee's department places a rose and a vase in their honor. When the employee's name is read, we invite any family or loved ones in attendance with us this morning to join the department representative up front as their rose is placed. We'll begin with adult corrections. Ralph Dixon, Jr. David Ford. And William Taylor. From City Council, the Honorable Joe Frank. Codes Compliance, Jimmy Phillips. The Commonwealth's Attorney, David Olson. Commissioner of the Revenue, Marcia Dozer Rawls. William Gardner, Jr. Janet Hugo. and Nancy Jones. From development, 
Albert Stodgill. Engineering, Walter Flora. Daniel Simmons. I'm sorry. Please, come, please. From the fire department, Anthony Bombero. John Fisher. Philip Goodwin. Clarence Hilling. Byron Jackson. Linwood Lovett, Jr. Cecil Miller. Bruce Rich. Robert Warden, Jr. And Werner Weiss. General Services. James Tucker. Human Services. Patricia Bell. Information Technology. Catherine Bittner. Juvenile Services. Patricia Foster. James Holmes. Solomon Keen. Cassandra Lynch. David Strickland. and June Thompson.
from Parks and Recreation. Joseph Battle. Rupert Charnick. And David McKay. From the police department. James Compton. Alfonso Edwards. Joseph Fabula. Dennis Hostler. Joe Johnson. Melvin Lett. Dennis Pointer. And Joseph Wright. From Public Works. John Atkins. Joseph Carroll. Marie Ford. Carl Little. Edward McDaniel. Bill Willoughby. And Donald Wiseman. the sheriff's office. Robert Clayton. Richard Near. From Waterworks, Zeb Biggs, Peggy Stevens, Glenn Stokes.
Billy Thompson. Orville Tillett. Mary West. And Raymond Wilson. Each of these employees touched us in their own unique way, forever leaving their mark on our city. And for that, we are grateful. We are thankful to have known them, to have spent time with them, to work alongside them as part of their service to others, because what we do in life echoes in eternity. For these, their service to others will not be forgotten. Please join me in a moment of silence as we reflect on our appreciation for each individual, followed by a musical tribute in their honor. Thank you. <clears throat> I've had some good days. I've had some hills to climb i've had some weary days and some lonely nights but when i when i look around things over all of my good days out away my bad days I I won't complain sometimes the clouds hang low I can hardly see the road i ask the question lord why why so much pain but he knows what's best for me more than my weary eyes they can't see so I'll just say, thank you, Lord. I, I, I won't complain. God has been so good to me. He's been good to me more than this whole world. Or you could ever see He'd been so good to me He drawed all of my tears away Turn my midnight in 
today. So I'll just say, thank you, Lord. I, I won't complain. Good morning. Thank you for coming today to honor and remember the members of our city family who passed away last year. I am humbled by this opportunity to pay tribute to those who are no longer with us, but who we all remember so fondly. I extend my deepest sympathy to the family members and friends that are here today whose loved ones that we honor. I know it has been a difficult year for you. Please know city council and our city leadership team are here for you and we appreciate and value all of the contributions that your loved ones have made to this organization and to our great community. We hold this ceremony during National Public Service Recognition Week as a way to honor the public servants we have lost over the past year while remembering their important work as well as the contributions of their fellow employees. The 59 white roses that you have placed in the vase before me represent 59 beautiful lives, each of whom brought their own unique talents to their work and strive to make Newport News a better place. The public servants we lost and the nearly 4,000 others who continue the work are the true unsung heroes who keep our city operating smoothly and effectively. The pride, commitment, innovation, and compassion our employees bring to their jobs truly inspires me. My colleagues on city council and I appreciate the skills that our public servants bring to the city of Newport News and we commend their dedication this and every week. While today we honor and remember the public servants we lost, let us also celebrate their lives and the many ways that they enriched our workplace. They built a bridge for the rest of us to cross. They planted trees whose shade we all shall enjoy. Thank you for joining us today as we pay tribute to the lives of our extraordinary team members of our Newport News family. We are truly grateful that they were part of the story of our great city, and we will remember the difference they made in our city and the lives of our residents. At this time, I ask that you follow Lieutenant out front to the police and fire memorial as we pay a final tribute to those we lost in 2022. Thank you. <laughs> 